Hey guys, it's Frank Del Rio. We are out here in the city of Orange. We're not just walking around. We're bringing you one of the newest homes about to hit the marketplace in an area where it's very rare homes come on the market. This is a highly sought after neighborhood for one reason and one reason only. The peaceful tranquility, the quietness, nobody drives on this street except the homeowners. Behind me is three bedrooms, two baths, 1,400 plus square feet sitting on a quarter of an acre. You are going to love this property. Let's go. Welcome home. This is Orange Grove Avenue. Let's take you through almost like you're going back in time. The home was built in the 1950s. These properties were built a little different back then. There's a lot more solid structure. They were just built better in my personal opinion. We're on a raised foundation. This is original flooring here, still intact and beautiful. Nice big high ceilings in here. I gotta get on my tippies to touch that ceiling. It's a little bit over eight feet, eight and a half feet or so. This is your living room, great room area. It's a nice open space. You've got the fireplace back here. Our client who runs multiple businesses, runs his operation to out of the household. Look past all that. I want you to look at what you have here in this space. The beautiful window. You've Christmas time, right? Big Christmas tree right here. You see it coming home or just having this open floor plan here that blends right into your kitchen dining room area. What I do really love about this home is that even though it looks a little bit older inside, They've renovated beautifully, but a lot of it is not the aesthetic stuff that you're used to seeing. This house has been fully insulated from the walls to the ceiling to the attic. So the air conditioning, the heater flow in here is superb. Very low uh, utility costs as well to run those features, which you really don't see in these older homes. But our client had the forethought to do that to the property. So the AC during the summertime here works beautifully, as well as in the wintertime, the heater runs really well. You've got a tankless water heater that got the reverse osmosis water and drinking system, purified water drinking, so that's all great too. But let's talk a little bit more about this space, okay? Because you can do a few things. Number one, you can keep this as your open living area. You can turn it into the kids' play area. So this living area space then opens up into your dining area here, the nook, which also connects over to your kitchen space. I like this nook area because you could use it as a seating area. You can have a nice round table here, you can act as your dining room, but you're not getting like a traditional dining room, which is okay. In the size of the property, it's really not expected. You just don't see it that often. Now let's talk about the kitchen because you've got a lot of things going on here. You've got this center island here, which is a nice little segue into both spaces here. You can hang out, have breakfast, lunch, dinner here, right, with the family. But you'll notice you've got the gas unit, six burner stove. This is a Thermador, so this is the big duty stuff here. Your heavy chef people, they're gonna love this box. But then you also have the electric stove and oven here, which was the original. The clients put this in because they loved cooking with gas. So that's why that's there. So you, you, know, you can keep it the way it is, or you can change it up however you'd like. I love the fact that you have all this storage space in here to play with for yourself. Lots of windows, so you get a lot of that natural sunshine. It's connected to the breezeway, which takes you into that garage, which we'll get to in a second. But just really think about this space here, which, you know, the kitchen is the heart of the home. So you have plenty to work with here. Your dishwasher, your two stoves, you know, oven, microwave. You have the refrigerator space and then all of this cabinetry space. You can keep what's here. You can redo it however you want. The choices are endless. It connects over into the little hall area here that will connect you to the third bedroom, the secondary bathroom, and then you have the uh, one of two laundry areas. I'll show you the first one is the inside laundry, and then we have an outside laundry in the garage as well. The tankless water unit is there also. What I want you to do is go look at the other three bedrooms. Now, here, I take that back. I want you to look at the other two bedrooms. They are larger than your normal size bedrooms. The third bedroom is currently being occupied by a guest uh, who our clients uh, are currently taking care of us through uh, assisting them, but we don't have access to it today. But it's okay. You'll be able to see it when you come into the property. We're gonna give you everything you need right now. So go look at those bedrooms and bathrooms, and then I'll meet you outside for a real special treat.
Did you enjoy those bedrooms? Pretty large than normal, right? Outside, you're in for a treat. First, you got this breezeway right here that leads you in and out. It's got a courtyard gate there, which is perfect. You can have it locked, have both doors open, just getting that nice flow going. You have this gated area here. It's kind of like your backyard courtyard, if you will, which is a nice separation. If you have animals, you want them to run freely, not bother this area. If you have people over, right? Eventually, we're talking a quarter acre lot, you can put a pool in, so you have the, the security gate already. That's a nice little addition there. If you wanna put a spa in, you can over here, or the outdoor barbecue. They have the uh, portable barbecue, which is totally fine. It's, it's here because they have it connected to the gas line outside, so they got direct gas coming in. The real neat feature is with this garage, they have a pass-through garage door, which is nice from the front to the backyard. A really neat feature what a lot of people are doing now because of the new zoning laws is they're adding on to their garages, turning them into ADUs, right? So that's a possibility here with all this space that you have. Now let's get to the backyard because I mean, oh my God, look at all this greenery out here. Just first off, think of all of the get-togethers, the parties. If you've got little ones, be out here playing soccer, football, baseball right you can picture the kids hitting the ball here to you play and catch there's so much opportunity here and just an abundance of options and that's what i love you're surrounded by all of these trees you've got orange you've got lemon you've got fig got this massive tree here that provides optimal shade year round it actually keeps the house cooler than normal so they really don't run their air conditioning too often the owner said which i believe is a plus but just think of all the possibilities back here you want to add on to that garage to make the adu situation happen you can or let's say you want to turn your 1400 square feet into maybe 18 or 2000 you have the room that's the two bedrooms and bathroom and kitchen you could bring that property all the way out here and still have plenty of yard space i mean think about all of the endless possibilities you get with this home and we're not done come check this little neat thing out ta-da isn't this neat you can actually pass through from the backyard into your front yard look at this space they have it all finished up with the drywall you've got the other laundry room i was telling you about the extra sink you've got the ro system with the reverse osmosis the drinking water it's a huge garage big rafters high ceilings you can really do quite a bit with this space if you don't want to park your cars you can turn this into a casita the secondary unit i mean the game room right this could be the man cave there's a lot of possibilities here you guys and one extra item in this garage space that I love because now you have perspective is if you look up in the ceiling, they've got this nice insulation so that this garage stays cool. This same insulation up here is in your main house. That's what I was talking about earlier about the house being insulated so your utilities run at a very efficient uh, uh, mode essentially. So that's a really neat feature. But how cool is this? You could turn this into the casita, the game room, you could do the man cave or just keep it as is with the garage. I love that you have these options. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Let's do a quick recap before we let you go. Wasn't this tour fun? Let's do a quick recap of Orange Grove. We're standing out in the backyard, honestly, because I feel like I'm selling a tree and the house is included. This tree is so mesmerizing, so huge. It's so perfect and it's all yours when you come and fall in love with this property. So what are you getting? Three bedrooms, two baths, beautiful quiet street, quarter of an acre, space to do whatever your heart desires to this property. Or just keep it as is and enjoy what you have. You have the garage with the uh, pass-through garage door. You can turn this into casita, right? It's completely finished. You could do the, uh, the zoning laws that could create an ADU. So much opportunity and potential here. Let's talk about the lifestyle. You also get close proximity to some amazing parks, fantastic schools. You have Chapman University right down the street. You, if you want something bigger, you've got Irvine Regional Park with all the fun activities they do. That is literally less than 10 minutes away. Are you hungry? They've got some great foodie spots. You've got uh, uh, PCH hot dogs right down the street. You've got Lorena Markets where you can eat and shop. You've got Orange Hill Restaurant. I mean, so much here 
all within a 10 minute or less drive, which I love. But if you need more, you have the rest of Orange County. You're 20 minutes from the best beaches, shopping, entertainment, Disney, uh, Angel Stadium, the Honda Center, all that's at your fingertips here. And you also have close proximity to multiple freeway access that will have you go to and from OC, but also to LA County and the South Bay. So it's everything you wanted. For those of you that are doing that transition move, it's perfect. All you have to do is come see it in person and fall in love. And you know the vibe right now. Homes aren't lasting long, neither will this one. So come and see this home, 714-335-0844. Call me, text me, I would love to show you it in person. Take care.